for you a minute. Hi, this is Ellen with Spiritually Intuitive Readings. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use a pendulum. So this is a pendulum, in case anybody does not know what one is or has seen discussion of it. And you can see it's moving and it's actually saying yes. When it goes side to side, my pendulum is saying yes. And if I wanted to say no, it will go clockwise. See how it's moving. And if it says maybe, it'll go up and down like clockwork. Now one of the things that's very important before you use a pendulum is you want to direct it to the higher self. You do not want any negative entities getting involved because then they're going to answer your questions for you and you don't want that. Um, another thing to understand is pendulums are not always 100% accurate. The reason why is because the higher self does not always know the answer. Um, some people may debate with me on that. They may say, oh, yes, they do. It's connected to the source. It's connected to spirit. Of course, the higher self is perfect. The higher self is not perfect. It's learning just like you are. It's developing like you are. It's completely in a transformation process. So it's it doesn't come in perfect, but it is a, let's say, a more perfect you. You could, you could maybe say that. So you want to connect it to the higher self. Now, what I do is I speak to it and I command it. You have to command your pendulum, which is very critical. Um, that way, it's going to go right to the higher self. So one of the things I do is I take my pendulum, and I want you guys to do this too, or you can come up with your own way of directing it to the higher self. But before you begin asking any questions or anything, make sure you connect it to the higher self. So I've established that. So let's begin. I want to connect to the higher self, which is connected to the source. Am I connected? It's saying yes. Then you want to ask it to show you the directions. Show me yes. Show me no. Show me maybe. Show me refuse to answer. Do you see how it changed directions with each question that I did? And refuse to answer is a new one that popped up on me when I began readings with it. I had been working with Pendulum for quite some time. But the reason why it began to do that is because sometimes the question that we are asking of the Pendulum, it can't answer. It's not being asked the right way. Um, I'll give an example. Once I had a question, you know, if a spouse was cheating. Now, in my mind, I have a certain perception of what cheating is. But the thing is, my sitter had a different perception. I have, you know, physical, meat, relationship, sex, you know, what we would perceive. But this was more of an online situation, um, an emotional cheating. Both are cheating, you know, in, to many people. Um, but some people may not see that as. Uh, where, you know, physical, we have no doubt. Everybody, 100%, we agree that's cheating. But because I had a certain thing in mind, it refused to answer because I had a certain perception. So I wouldn't say, no, there's no cheating, because my higher self was saying, yeah, you know, that, that is kind of a cheating thing, but what you're thinking in mind is not accurate. So that is a good thing to program your pendulum to have a refuse to answer. Because if you have a refuse to answer, that may help you probe and and decide, maybe I should word my question a little bit differently. So, But that is the one thing. Also, you always want to keep a little thing of selenite, like a little, a little crystal of selenite in the bag with it. That way it keeps it cleansed. You can cleanse it with salt water. However, I warn, some pendulums do not do well with salt water. Um, it's not a good idea. But let's go over some of the directions. you got to hold your hand really still. And if you notice... Now, if you've ever seen some lives, say, on Facebook, maybe even on YouTube, some people are moving their hand. They're kind of cheating, you know. Hold your hand. Watch my hand. It's very steady. Show me yes. Show me no. Show me maybe. Show me refuse to answer. You see how I held my hand very steady? and it changes the direction. So it's a magical tool. I will give you that. It is a very magical tool, and it's wonderful to get 
those basic yes no answers but always be careful what question you're answering because it's going to answer that question um, but just remember they're not always 100 percent accurate sometimes they're you know like say if you're trying to protect <laughs> the gender of the baby you know sometimes it's a little tricky and it, it may have a hard time seeing what the answer is those are tough ones um, but they're a lot of fun. They can get some good answers. They can really get you going. But remember, connect it to the higher self before you begin your readings. That is critical. A lot of people do not do that. And then it, it can shoot off in any direction. It can go to any entity. And you don't want that. You want it connected to the higher self. Higher self connected to the source. That way you've got good answers with your pendulum. And I hope that educated you a little bit. It's very simple. It's a great tool to have. And thank you for tuning in.